To mark the 100th day of the Lai administration, Premier Zhuo Rongtai on Tuesday sat with FTV Vice President An Hu for an exclusive interview. Zhuo weighed in on current affairs, such as the recent scandal involving defeated presidential candidate Ke Wenzhe. The Taiwan's People's Party chair has admitted to using 43 million NT from election subsidies to purchase an office unit in Taipei. This is what Zhuo had to say. Do you think restrictions should be considered for campaign expense subsidies, for example, limiting their spending to matters of public interest or public use? I personally don't think that there is a problem with the current system. After all, we've held so many elections with so many candidates and there hadn't been any issues. There are the donations from private individuals and there is the money from taxpayers. They are both equally important to help you on your electoral campaign. What's inappropriate is considering that money as a personal pay for yourself. Using these funds to purchase real estate was unheard of. Nobody had ever done anything like that. But one person acting negligently and unreasonably isn't enough reason to overhaul the entire system. Zhuo also spoke on housing justice, which has long been a key political matter in Taiwan. The premier touted the government's new programs to help young adults and first-time home buyers. And he warned that had people who tried to abuse the policy to speculate on housing would be dealt with. After 100 days in power, Zhuo says the cabinet remains committed to Lai's vision on an executive that values action and innovation.